Welcome back, Lords and Ladies. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to recover my Forsaken run, which is a shame. I did manage to recover my um, Swamp Folk run for the Took um, with the help of the developers. It was very kind of them. Um, so we will continue playing with these guys for a bit, just until like the last like. I suppose I've played these guys for a while. Um, as always, if you guys want me to skip some of this content, some of the early... I don't know, this is the thing, which is that it takes you a while to get through um, the early levels in Utuk. And if people would rather that I just, like, missed them out, um, and just... I don't know, like... This is, this is one of the issues that you have when playing early access games, or games that are in beta, is that... Um, Unfortunately, but the, the updates do come out. When the updates come out, you really don't have a lot of choice about how you do things. Um, it is just how it is, unfortunately. Right, so we've got people coming. They need help. They're going to turn up. This isn't... That's not too bad. This territory here will be easier to hold. This one is going to be fine. Move them down here. And get this guy on side. Move to here to get him unlocked. I don't know if it does unlock them, but I do know from past experience that the the AI doesn't seem to turn on for these people unless you um unless you uh, take unless you're near them. Okay, so. Can't hit him yet. Rightio. Like I said, first time really playing with the Swamp Folk as an um, player faction. So we're just going to check them out and see what they can do. Um, I haven't got really... I sort of know the basics of how these guys work. God, we had to get that close to use this guy. Ugh. I did not like that. Oh yeah, because he's got a range of three, so he's going to have to be here. Goodness me, that sucks. Okay, let's get that on. Yeah, so we're still out of range for him. We can put him here though and start the assault. Which will cause him to attack us. A little bit of damage now isn't too much of an issue. You're going to hold this location here. You're going to kill him. You're going to kill him. Well, I was hoping you were going to kill him. That's not great, to be honest. Can throw regeneration down on you, though. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. You're getting on my nerves. He's going to panic. Uh, not what we can do with you. You can come up here and get this on. Uh, 
more reinforcements turned up. How many in that corner? Oh. Great, fantastic. More regeneration, please. Yeah, gain the focus ability regeneration. And that's not good. Yeah, he's panicking. Which will kill him off. That broke his armor. We need to reposition him. He died from the blood loss. He's okay where here he is. Um, you need to die because those two up there are going to be a pain. Especially this one. Okay. Get him toggled up with more damage. He can move up. The thing with the plague faction that I've noticed so far, they're very much buffers. They don't do an, a ton of outright damage. Like they don't like heal you like unlike the human faction where you have a dedicated healer, um you don't get that with these guys. What you get is you get regen. So unlike it unlike um with the humans where you for example can heal them on the turn that you heal them, this this turn takes time. So you have to be careful of how you place your units because you can't guarantee a heal straight away if they're slow in the turn order. They may get hit first by multiple opponents. Right. So, for example, I could heal him, but he's all the way down here, the vampire, on my turn order. And if there was someone else in the turn order here, they would hit him before he heals. So, we have to be careful. Um, who do we want to basically give a boost to? We'll give another, we'll give another um, Berserker boost to him. It's not great because his stamina obviously is going to be much lower. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm out of breath so I can't attack this turn. So the Berserker play works really well if your characters have the stamina for it. Right, so we wipe those guys out. Uh. Got a vampire which I'm actually not that happy with. Because they're gonna require blood, and we don't have any blood. Um which is a shame. Lightfoot on normal crit hit is stunned on normal crit hit. None of these are great. Bleed is not bad. I will take it. I don't have anyone that's running around with anything. Yeah, I'm not having a great pull with these, I've got to admit. Um, his abilities all take stamina, so he needs to have a lot of health and a lot of stamina. Um, his strength is terrible, and his health isn't much better. I didn't get a very good pick with my characters. Hold on one second, sorry. So better, folks. Uh, tiring criticals is okay. Hasting criticals is okay. None of these are particularly fantastic. The, the stun is good. I mean, I'd like to keep the vampire. I'm not going to lie, but the problem I have is I have no blood to feed them at all. So I'm probably going to have to banish the Vampire Lord, which hurts because they're a powerful unit, but I don't have any blood. And it's risky to have them around without blood because I think they'll start feeding upon your own unit. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is not being that productive. Right. Surrounded north sides. Yeah, I think this is going to be the surrounded north. Yeah, it is the surrounded north sides fight. 
Um, which isn't great, to be honest. Right. Now you go here. I need to learn to click click them from up here rather than the map. Because sometimes the boxes don't overlay particularly well. Come on. Something like this, yeah. Uh, please help us, yeah. Yeah, this is the whole... Um, enemies is broken up into three waves thing. It's not an encounter I particularly like. Um, partly due to the fact that it's just really hard. Um, even on like the lowest difficulty, it's not. It's not a particularly easy fight to be in. Because they come in three waves. Ugh. They have the high ground as well, which sucks. <laughs> what I dislike is that the AI never heals. Yeah, here comes the next wave. Up here. Okay, let's go there, throw regeneration on him to heal up, because he's relatively behind the turn order. Um, get here please, increase the terrain so you have some height advantage. I mean, I'm playing on the easiest difficulty setting to get a feel for how the faction works. So this is why I'm doing a bit more damage than I would normally be doing. Because um, otherwise, folks, we wouldn't be doing as well as we are. Okay, let's get rid of him. Uh, get here, please. Race terrain. Yeah, strong versus. I managed to take him out. That range unit is going to be a pain because I don't have a lot of ways of dealing with them. Um, I'm probably going to have to murder this guy. On my own, so this is going to be a pain. Okay, take care of him. Uh, you're going to have to go down here and hold this corner, my friend. You're going to come here. You're going to come here, increase the height, and we're going to start bombarding him. It's not going to help us a lot, but it'll help us some. You're going to come here and take the high ground, and you're going to put spear wall on. You're still alive, but you're healing up just nice, so you're going to come up here and stab him. You can support with a spear throw. Yeah, that's not great, but you'll have to do. Broke his armor at any rate. You stay here. I don't know where he's going, so I have to be careful. Get Berserk on. He's coming across here. Okay, so he's going to flank us if we're not careful, which is not something I can permit. So crit hit him. Finish him off, please. More enemies are arriving from the from down south, which isn't great for us. Um, because so I was hoping to I was hoping to basically have them all coming from one of either north, south, or west. No, sorry, north, east, or west, not south, because south is a pain. Right. Um 
get up here, please. Rotate him. You can rush over here to cover this flank. Uh, you're going to put Aegis on. And then you're going to fall back. Um, they're going to be rushing me straight away. Not good. Okay. Main issue we have. Uh, so he's coming around that side. Is that we got this guy coming up from the up from the northeast, which is going to be a pain to deal with. Okay, so where's that guy going? So are they ignoring my range unit? Okay, fine. Um, fine with me. Is this my guy? Don't know. Hmm. This might be my guy. In case, as they let him take too much damage, got sloppy. Okay, so he's rushing around here. Okay, put Aegis on him. Put a Berserk on him. Come down here to help support. Move here. Get spear wall up. He gets an extra attack, which is useful because we can come here. And get double poison off, which is very nice. here and help with the fun he's probably going to get attacked so he needs to come back here he's okay he's not attacking us okay that's surprising no that's our boy right Getting a Berserker Rush on the damage dealer. Another wave where... Okay, from over there. Right. Okay. Oh, he's got the protector trait, which means that every time he takes damage, basically for him to block, he actually has to sacrifice HP. Um, which isn't great. It's one of the reasons I don't like the protector trait, per se. Um... Is the fact that it just like murders your own people. Right, we're gonna put regenerate on him. You can run up here. We lose the extra stat benefit, which is a shame. We can kill him off. You can run up here. Take a few hits, but nothing out of the ordinary. He has range support, which is fantastic. One of the most useful early level, early um, sorry, support is one of the, in my personal opinion, one of the best early game um, mutations that you can get. Take the high ground. to 
here. He's probably going to attack him because he looks squidgy. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this on him. Yeah, he went after him, which is un unsurprising. Um, Berserker won't reach this turn. Put life steal on him, please. Okay, you're going to basically go there. And get some okay damage off. You can't do anything. You're going to push up, but you didn't have nearly enough movement for it. You're going to push up and just have just enough. Okay. Speed killer. Always a nice trait to pick up early on. Medicine. Rare staff. Not really interesting. Um, concentration's nice. Improvise is nice. Monster Heart is very nice. Extract the Monster Heart. We'll grab Improviser. He leveled up. So I'm going to buff as much stamina for him early on as I can. Because his abilities really drain stamina. Um, and then I'll, once I get to 100 stamina, I'll focus on his health. With him, you need, because his protector, yeah, it takes away 10% of your current HP every time it's used, which isn't great. So up your damage, and then the rest will go into your vitality. Um, we already have steel plate for him. Got a rare staff, which we can give to him, which means we can then chuck the rare steel staff. Okay. This is a very linear map. Currently, I'm just taking every single fight I can because um, I really need the experience um, okay so first off the bat yeah this is going to be a weird map to play in um, let's think about this logically Something like that. Um, put him here to support. Put him here to level up some terrain. These guys are going to get angry real quickly though, so we're going to have to be careful. Yes, please help us. Um, that will aggro him, which will trigger him. Um, he goes before, though. He goes after the Berserker, so we can kill him. Um, take that. Take care of him. As I said, we are playing on the easiest difficulty setting, so it means that the game is a lot easier. Um, not being nasty to the game at all, but it does have a well-earned reputation for being a challenging game. Um, okay, you can't do anything. You're going to come around here, so all their attack, melee attacks are coming this way, which is fine, because I can move up here and shoot him with poison. I mean, the main difference I find in this game when you play it in a slightly easier setting is that the enemies take more damage. That's the only real difference I've noticed. There's, there's basically that the enemies take more damage and you take slightly less damage. Um, there could be other things at play. There probably are. Um, 
Alright, we're gonna these range units to kill him. Alright, here. Yep. Okay. He's coming around the corner. Okay, I can't get, do anything with that, so stay there. He's gonna shoot me, but it's fine. Man, I wish I had a push unit. This is one of the things I miss about not playing like the primary starting human faction, is having that extra push unit. Like having that push unit early on in the game. Oh man, that's so OP. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it having a knight that can push people about, but he is just obscenely powerful. Especially with the maps being a lot more dynamic than they used to be. Um, It's just so nice to be able to smash people off terrain. Yeah, we'll get him to we'll stab him. He'll be taunted. He's gonna shoot him. We take care of him. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. And there we go. You can see just the difference in just the, the difference in damage output. We got an armor, which is fine. Uh, push and pull. Yeah, push and pull is good to have. Some for units leveled up. Projectile blocker. Ah, they put that in with him, the projectile blocker ability. That's very nice. First strike. Veteran. Spear wall is always nice. Attack opportunity only by 60% damage. And then push. Spear wall also works against charges, but not against ram. Each spear wall, spear wall is triggered automatically with each hit costing 30 stamina. So at the moment, he can only get one off. Okay. So we need to basically buff his stamina. Buff his health a bit as well. Um, his current damage isn't that impressive. How much for a single he can? He, if we give him the double shot ability, he can do that's fine with the Berserker. Um, and his damage doesn't really come from his blowpipe, it comes from his dart. Well, it does come from his blowpipe, but. He doesn't get a lot of damage. It doesn't get a lot of value for for having points in damage per se. It gets like two points. I mean, poison is much more effective, right? He's got his focus ability unlocked because I believe he's now level four. Yeah, which means his focus ability unlocked. Hastening is not. I don't like it. To be honest, I think it's a relatively in some situations, it's useful, especially if you're running with a heavy armoured party. Um, but in this situation, not so much. Okay. Now, another individual which is being held hostage. This one is going to be harder to get to, unfortunately. Um, also, they're in a much stronger position this time. So we're probably going to have to go with this approach. Yeah, please help me. Okay. So this is the plan that we ha I have. We're going to basically just hit him with a lot of range. Just bombard him with range. Um, you are going to take some damage running across there. You're going to run down here and then basically cave this guy's heads in. You should be tough enough to take it. Uh, you're going to come down here. Actually, wait. 
you know, you're going to come down here in case this guy tries to get through here. Yeah, that's not great. I'm going to... I might... Might, I say, have to change my plans, unfortunately. Um... Take a speed hit, but yeah, his armor's gonna be a pain. Um, run down here, then. Can we get anyone? Nope. Okay. Um, get here, raise the terrain, and then we'll throw some more stuff down on top of him, breaking his armor. You can run up. Slowed is unpleasant, but it's going to be what we have to do. Stab him. He needs to have some kind of leech ability. I need to get himself into absorb health so his health comes back up. Because at the moment he is getting wrecked. How did that happen? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, keep me alive. No, people panicking. Alright, he's strong. Gets us a hit. Probably strong versus pole arms, which is nice. Um, you move up here and take care of him. And that's not great. Not a lot I can do about it, though. Right. He's dead this turn. I gotta throw more life regen on him. Okay. Oh, dude, don't go running all over the place. I just want to make this quick. Okay. This guy is going to drag it out. I can just tell. The AI is probably gauging that this guy is weaker because of his less health. Yeah, like his damage is terrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the spear, the spear guy is just not very good. Like, he's good at delaying stuff, but his damage output is bad. Increased vitality is nice when the alchemist. Um, what do we have here? Focus ability into applies. That's a very powerful one to get, but we won't be able to get it. I will grab this one though. That's a shame. Fast thinker is a very powerful one. But we can start building this up. Having the ability to not be pushed or pulled around is very nice. Um, I'm going to dump a lot of his early points into agility to get his stamina up. Because um, then what we can do is, if I suppose we could give him that, that's a lot of hits point out the window. Um, I'd like him to have it early because it means then we can apply the stacking ability from his from Utuk, like for the for the Berserker ability, given an extra action, so we can get off a ton of attacks. But we need a lot of stamina for him to play this, so we could do that early on. But it would make him very much a glass cannon. Right. 
that done, I'm going to put a cut in here, folks. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, or leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll get back in contact with you. It's been Utuk Desolation, and I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye!